Don't try to talk me into coming. The Norns and their tales of our fates, it's everything I've walked away from. When you're ready to seek the Norns, I'm with you. Just taking a moment. something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have a little back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Madam Neethog? Madam Neethog, where have you been? Oh. I suspect you may have consequences to look forward to. Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madam Neethog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another longtime tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived. That was ages ago. We are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Come. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you.
Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about the prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrim. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal, wise, clever, tall. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The Well of Earth, their home is... hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. Brother, seems the wolves have led us here. I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard and Thimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
This is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. Something in here is giving it power. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. <laughs> There's no time to wander off, brother. Freya's found something. We won't find the Norns through a mystic gateway. 
There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. What the hell did our cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. Oh! Only your wolves can help us find the norms. I was telling you about the Well of Earth, where the Norns dwell. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like... being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you encountered these Norns? Not personally. Bay is right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Fair, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Brother, I think this is the part! <laughs> Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Kratos, I feel the Norns over here. Are you ready? Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Yeah! <laughs> 
That's all of them. You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. You won't believe it, Mimir. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. Another crane. Control courtesy of the dwarves. Outpost is what's left of Fjordland. Sigrun spoke of growing up the before she joined the Valkyries. Oh! <laughs> 
A musical instrument from your homeland, isn't it? Can you play? Yes. Will you? No. Now, where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tears Vault. need a couple of things. Follow me. Hey, this place ain't some disrespect. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out your mouth. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. Miss Lady, what does she do? Well, we'll go see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, She'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the one she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow since he keeps the damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. <laughs> Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I pulled it off. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are.
Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. Your homos forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for this. Are you, uh. Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. Speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck! Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion tap scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. 
It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. This weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! <laughs> 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 It's your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a Spartan learned! What the hell? Ain't it just like old times? I put it more forebodingly myself. right up there where it looks weak. That's it! Yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. It weren't his call to make. Guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. <laughs> Get the name! Oh. 
Watch your left! Better take out that nest or it'll be Eyeball City out here! Another nightmare! To the left! Stop fuckering around and smash that thing before more things come out! bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. <laughs> them eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better beat them out. What? You got something to say? <laughs> Get it all there! Let's brother! must be talking to yourself. Figuring stuff out faster than I can teach. <laughs> ah, that's blocked. See? Dirty enough to climb on, swing on, Whatever's you need. Yep. Look down below! A bit late for that. We got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Maria. Oh, very well. These ugly parts. Maybe those grim will take you down. Uh, nope. What? You got something to say? Say it already! Show me what you got! Oh! <laughs> 
students find a patch on high. Suck on this, Pud Schaefer! Woo, boy! That's probably enough heart pumping for me today. You pick up the loot. I'll set up shop over yonder. Straight it is.
Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it for me. And I'll get those gates for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Drop's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. everyone. Now a good time. Just one talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now. But behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever. Kind. You sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. <laughs> Careful, brother. You're covered in my blood. Shield strike now! 
Drop near spear? Big drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. As long as you remember we can't get home this way. We'll need to take the train down. So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. Old. Prepare for a fight. After the field of Kalat. Before the king! Alpha! No! <laughs> 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 
Me a favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the nine realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Namir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. 
Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. Now do the thing! Oh, look at that. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. Going, brother. Sleep. So we're just keeping blindly on then, hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Do you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> Think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? Um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. I can't give into it. Hey, it's true. Hey, it's true. Hey, it's Training without me? <laughs> Is that a, that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Uh, no, it didn't. It didn't hurt, also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh. Grandfather, right, okay, uh, here, then take this, and, uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif, and, uh, Treus, see you later, Throod, bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. The two of you, that's right. in the jar. Milk curd. Mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in the study. Catch up later? Thor's room. Everyone back home would freak if they knew I was in here. Wait, what am I doing in here? You don't understand. It's a lot more complicated than you think. You don't need to know why I think- But I'm old enough. This isn't about your age. Then what is it about? Because by this point, Magni and Modi were set on the path that led to their death. I don't understand. You never try to. Then help me. Why are you so intent to walk the same path? And with that boy, no less. It's not about him. I just, this is my dream. Haven't you ever? You're not some farmhand. We're Aesir. We have duties, not dreams. And you need to start acting like it. Sometimes I hate you. Ah, there he is. The giant disaster himself. Seriously, what's your problem? Odin's down in this library. What are you going on about? I just don't get it. The mask. Bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I liked you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? First giant. 
Tell me, can you murder a landslide? Smother a storm? It was more, a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust shh, you. Shh, shh. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this. And I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here it talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's gotta be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lau. Should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? Lemir said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in hell out. You believe everything that old goat says? Throod, too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to hell out. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. <sighs> now, as much as I would love to babysit, 